Hello and welcome to this video. This video is going to be about the consort diagrams in R. So what are consort diagrams? Consort diagrams are something like this. When you are doing a data project, you have to announce exclusions and inclusions criteria right in the beginning. So something like this demonstrates that we started with a total records of 87. And once we started validating the data, we had to exclude some data for different reasons. And you can see the reasons and number of records which were excluded. And finally, we were left with so many records. So these are the records which are left for you to use in your analytics. So let's get started on doing something like this. We're going to make this consort diagram as a self-generating diagram. That means you don't really have to do anything special apart from validating your data. And once your data is validated, you're automatically going to create this consort diagram. We'll be using these two packages, deployer and consort. Let's use some data. So I'm going to use the Star Wars data. This is a built-in data set, and I'm putting it into another data frame called D. So if I run this, I would end up with another data frame, which is a copy of Star Wars. You can see different fields, and you can see some of the fields are blank or NAs. In this case here, color is missing. And in some case, birth year is missing. Um, and few other information is missing. So let's formulate a validation rule and then start creating a consort diagram from this. So I'll be using the dplyr. I'm going to use the mutate statement from dplyr. I'm going to create a new column out of variable called exclusion or exl. And then I'm going to use a case event statement. Notice there was a field called hair color, and we're going to say if the if the hair color is NA, then we want to label this as missing hair color. The closing. If I run this simple statement, I would end up with another column in there, EXL. And then wherever there was missing hair color, I've got the label called missing hair color. So let's expand this bit further. And I want to add some more criteria into that. So to do that, so I've added another criteria for the birth year. If the birth year is NA, then it's going to say missing birth year. And if the mass, this column, which is a numeric column, is more than 75, we're going to say mass above 75. So we're going to exclude records which meet these three criteria. So we can see that in our data, the column EXCL carries all the information which we wanted. Mass above 75, missing hair color, and you would also see the missing birth year. So we, all the three criteria has been recorded in this. So that's all we need to do with our data. And this is what you would normally do anyway. When you are running your um, analytics project, you're going to exclude some records. And then it's best to put that information within that da data set. Now, we are ready to create a consort diagram using the consort plot. There's something called consort plot in that consort package, which we just imported. and in that we are going to specify what is our data set our data is d now we need to specify a few more things so if i look there we need to specify the orders the side box allocation labels coordinates and so on but the most important thing is going to be the orders orders is important because this is going to tell the consort diagram what is the information which we want to exclude and what are the labels etc which we want to give them and then the side box is remember there is a box on the side which showed the exclusions so side box is going to carry all the exclusions so in order to do that let me create something called order so it's basically a list i'm saying name is going to be the total records so when i say name i'm referring to this field I'm saying because this field is a unique ID or unique field, none of them is being repeated. 
So we are going to count these names and say, you know, we have so many records in there. For example, we have 87 records here. And after we exclude our records based on this criteria, how many records are left? So that also is going to be using the name column. So the name would be representing total records and exclusions or EXCL field is going to represent exclusions. And then finally, remember the last box which said final and um, that is also going to carry the name because it's going to count the names um, in the beginning to say these are the total records and then it's going to exclude the records based on the exclusion um, criteria which we provided and then finally it's going to again count the, the remaining names and then say these are the final numbers so with that i can say And I'm going to say orders equals orders. So orders equals this orders. And then we have to give one more thing. What is the side box going to be? The side box, the box on the right hand side, is going to consist of the exclusions EXCL, which is this column. So and in my consort plot, I'm going to put side box equals side box. I'm ready to run my program in all together so if i run it this is what we get the total records is coming from this and exclusions and the final everything is coming from this and if let, let's change it and this time i want to call it as we started with let me call it this change it it's going to automatically change everything the advantage of using the consort plot is that it can actually be carried over to a word document and i'll show you how you can do that as well so let's open a new r markdown and i'm going to be using document and i'm going to be using a word document i'll just take and I'm going to get rid of all this. So we have this chunk now. I'm going to add a few more things in there. I'm going to add all this information in there. Echo equals false. Comments equals false. Error equals false. Warning equals false. And message equals false. And now all we need to do is copy and paste our code from there and paste it up here. If you wish, you can put all your libraries up in the beginning. It doesn't change anything. And if I save it and knit it, I end up with this. And this is a word document and you have actually got all your consort diagrams in there thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one